Alright, so uh, the weather's not cooperating for me to power wash this quad. It's covered in mud, so I'm not going to pull the tires off yet because it's just going to be a nightmare trying to put these new ones on over there. But I did get a rear pole bar here on eBay. I was going to make one. This was 20 bucks. Worth it. Um, I'm going to be pulling on it, so I wanted the stock mounting locations. Uh, and this one, as you can see, is currently pretty busted. So I'm just going to spray some uh, galvanizing compound on these rust spots here. Even though this is like a chrome, but just to prevent it from rusting more uh, when we ride it. And we'll pull that off and put that on so I can move this thing around in the shop without having to throw my back out. I can actually lift it up. So, And we can pull trees down. I think that looks pretty good. I got this uh, rack here, that grab bar. And I was trying to figure out what these things are. I think that's just an exhaust guard there. And that, was, that hole, I was trying to figure out forever what that was. It's for a uh, pole for a sand dune. It's a marker flag pole mount. Pretty sweet. So this just connected. This came with the quad, by the way. Except for this. I got that on eBay for 20 bucks. But uh, through bolts, pretty simple. Just double nutted them. I'm gonna cut those off right now. And I'll show you guys what I've been planning on using this rack for, even though this is just a two wheel drive quad, but it's gonna be awesome. Check that out. The ultimate logging rig. It only sticks out like two feet, so.
Alright, we're going to try to pull the uh, tires off. These ones are still deformed. I let them sit for a couple weeks, but it's just going to make it that much harder. So I'm going to pull the valve stem out. Then you flip it over the back side. Got your valve stem. And I bought a brand new one as well. Uh, might as well swap it out, right? So I'll show you how to pull those through. It's a little tricky, but not too hard. I'm going to get some dish soap, and that'll help me pull that through and set the bead on the new tire. So These things are destroyed. Let's give it a shot. Uh, to pull your bead out, you're going to need one of these tools. I'm sorry. To pull your valve stem out, you're going to need one of these. Look, yeah, this thing is, I just barely touched it, and it started started coming apart and our valve stem is seized in there so I'm gonna cut it off Supposed to have a little pressure in the tire, but I already cut the, uh, the bead off or the uh, valve stem, so I just have it sitting against my workbench here. Got the other side. Nope. Oh, now it's. Heck. Oh, I don't have the rim. Gotta have the rim over that part so it doesn't lift the whole thing. There we go. 
you. Gotta get some lubricant in there, I think. What? Come on. We got two of them off. Get them on I'm actually gonna take these two to a shop I actually kind of ripped the bead on that one just slightly like it's probably still fine but I changed the uh, the fill on that the um, oh, the air chuck whatever it's called and so yeah that really made me mad I bought this whole Harbor Freight thing for this anyways so let's pull off the front tires I know they're tubed cuz it's got some old plugs in it and they're just gone so we'll get these off I need to put it on the bead breaker first obviously but yeah I'm gonna clean up uh, these brush guards too here that prevent dirt from getting on the rotor through the rims so we'll take these over to the wire wheel and clean them up So I gave up on these tires, took them to a shop today. The guy who was a total rude, uh, he said they were the hardest tires he's ever put on. So that makes me feel good because they were extremely hard for me to get on. 
we left them by the heat we did everything it's just a really tight beat on these because i think i think the psi um on these is somewhere around like four or five so i think they just have a really tight bead but regardless he got them on he charged me 60 bucks which is just disgusting but if i had the old ones off and i had these half mounted i just needed them set anyways i'm never going there again so he lost my business but um 60 bucks, 300 for tires. These tires are worth more than the whole quad, basically, at this point. So it's not so much of a free quad anymore, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And so I'm actually worried that they won't fit, meaning they're going to rub. And he has these jacked up, the pressure super high because uh, I think he was setting the bead. So let's grab my little. Um, Oh man, grab our pressure gauge and see what he put these at. And I hope he mounted them in the right direction. I'll have to, let me think. I think he did. So let's, let's check what these are at. Oh yeah, they're at 30. So, the recommended do not exceed 36 psi max to seat beads okay he's good 7 psi max on operation these are 6 plies so let's, let's bring these down to like 6 and that trailer hitch you can see in the background there also giving me some trouble it sucks because I just got a trailer for this thing. For yard work, stuff like that. Let's see where we're at. Still at 20. I could pull the valve stem out, it would go a lot faster, but I got some time. It's warm in the shop. It's pretty cold outside, so. So 15. Well, it's crazy how low the, the pounds per square inch is on, uh, on these quad tires. Six ply, really stiff sidewall, so they're meant to just dig, you know. I fear for my yard. I want to see how much lower these are to height wise. See, when he gave me, I was like, holy crap, those things are huge. I'm worried they're not going to fit. We're at 10. Now, this gauge doesn't read below 10. So we'll just get it to 10, and then I'll grab my other gauge. I bet you once we ride them a little bit, they'll flex a good bit. All right. That's not even registering, so let's see how much lower these are in height now. Oh yeah, good bit. Uh, same tire, a little bit smaller. These looked so much wider when uh, when I got them because the sides were all messed up. All right. I want to torque this axle too, but I can't find my cotter pin. There. Dude, this thing is going to rip. This thing is going to rip. There's probably still like at 10 psi, so they, they need brought down even more, but. So I just wanted to show you guys, I was pulling off the front tire and <laughs> the brake pads are basically gone so I'm going to change those and uh, so there's another thing, if you look at these ball joints um, here and then the two control arm connecting bushings, you can look at how much play there is. I'm just moving it back and forth slightly. <laughs> 
so those things are shot. I'm gonna put more grease in it right now, but uh, it looks like I'm gonna order some new control arms at some point. Don't really have the cash for it right now. Um, yeah, that should really be changed. The next thing I saw was this steering bearing right here is totally shot. That one I can change. That bearing is relatively cheap. It's like 20 bucks on eBay. The control arms, I mean, the uh, the tie rod ends are actually pretty good. There's a little bit of slop in them. But th this bushing and these two are definitely way past their lifeline so so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here and then change these brake pads just found another issue in the shock when I lift lift up that bushing is shot now this whole front end is just done like the whole thing needs rebuilt control arms brakes bushings Tie rod ends were definitely replaced, I think, because they're black. But, I mean, yeah, that's pretty bad. I could try to shim it, maybe. But I should probably just buy new shocks. Okay, let's keep going on this brake. Uh, the caliper's stuck. Look how bad those pads are. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to have to fight that piston. All right. Look at this. Look how thin these are. These are the ones I just put off. They're like credit card thin. Look at that wear. Like the metal's not even there. So these have been on there for so long. I think I might have ripped the seal on this too because that piston was so rusty, but we'll see. Yeah. Here's new ones, just for comparison's sake. So, yeah, this thing is very bad, that's why it was free. All right, got the rear tires torqued. This is the one that had a nail in it for a cotter pin. I still can't find my cotter pins, but I can put them in afterwards. I'm getting too excited to put these tires on. Just break it off. 
nail. And the size on these, by the way, is a 22 millimeter. Now that was good. That's 61 foot pounds. Let's see the other side. Um, the left side rear was good. The right side, this one, definitely needed some torque. And that one actually had a cutter pin on it. So the other side didn't. Neither did this one. Okay. So we're good. I'll torque the spec to once I find my cutter pins, put them in there. But so right now, so are these tires on? Heck yeah. So I got this side all done too. I could throw the front one on. The other brake pad is giving me some trouble. Um, basically, I stripped the bolt on the caliper because I was rushing. So, yeah. But I want to torque. I'm going to torque these axle nuts. Um, I actually have the specs while I'm thinking about it. I'll tell you what they are because I always forget to put them in the description. So this is from the manual itself. And the rear wheel axle nuts are 85 foot pounds. The oh, and then the the actual lug nuts that hold the tire to the axle, those are 32. If you want to torque those, um, the front axle nut on the front tire is 61 foot pounds. Sixty-one foot-pounds, and the nut is thirty-two, as well as the rear. So, yeah, I'm getting excited. I got my seat cover this week coming this week, and I still got to order those front axle components. But I'm ready to uh, use this to do some yard work. I got some sticks to clean up and pull a trailer with it. We'll cut down some trees too. So, all right, let's put these tires on.
That might be a, a wash on the filming. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, though. Yeah. yeah. We'll put that in uh, in the editing part. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. So the front brakes, I put new brakes on, and they're like not worn in yet. So yeah, I might have to dump it a little. Play. There. Uh, uh, we need a cup holder. I know. That's 